So, here yeah. we go. The so, flash. cross spawns. Well, it means a lot. Uh, first flash. off, <laughs> <laughs> all the bases. Oh man. Yeah. yeah so, uh, anyways, uh, cross spawns. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Generally, you're not really going to be able to rush each other. Uh, if, for instance, if Bisu goes Nexus first, Flash is not going to SCV Marine rush that. Um, it just it kind of gives you a very comfortable opening. It looks like with that pylon placement, it'll just be a forward gate with, with some Zealot pressure. But again, it flashes bases so far away uh, in these cross spawns that it's even less likely to really do much. This is one of the PBT builds that's always intrigued me. Because yeah. um, it's actually really old. Oh, the forward gate? The forward gate. A lot of times you'd see it on the older maps where the pylon would be on the high ground. But it was always um, yeah. The, yeah. The, the idea of like, well, it's closer, but not that much closer. But it kind of offers a wall in here, and, and um, you know, pressure can be very strong. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And I mean, a, a zealot rush of any type. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that that's incredibly strong against Terran. So, of course, that's why it's an old strategy. The first guy who ever looked at the game was like, "Oh, this is good," and it still yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because a lot of times people thought it was going to go out of style, but um, this is actually one that Bisu uses pretty regularly and hmm. pretty effectively. Yeah, it's, it's a good opener. It's just like the first sellout, I don't want to see him waste it. Like, yeah. the thing is, like, even if you get, like, two Marines with it, the Terran's still okay. You got to do more than that if you're going to lose it. it. It also depends on what the Terran's doing, right? Like, some Terrans do like to go really quick CC on this map. And if you get the Zealot over there and you start to do damage, that's a real headache. Um, but in this case, he's going for gas, so... I know it's very, very early to really try to call this an edge either way, but... No, oh, yeah, you know. it's, it's definitely not an edge either way right now. Right, but I actually like this a little bit better for, for Terran. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't the think thing Protoss is, is I think there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with what Bisu's doing. It's just he's not going to get any damage done with it, realistically. Oh, look at that. We've got Nyokin and Rapid over there. Yeah, it's completely packed down here, too. It, it, was, it filled up right when we got in. So exciting. Um, such a good start to the year. And so much more StarCraft, everything to come still. Mm -hmm. After our long hiatus, by the way. Yeah, very long. All right, now there's Zealot coming down. So two Zealots being made, and there should be a third on the way based on the timing of that Cyber Next Core. This is kind of a nice thing. The Marine was baited out kind of far. Good micro from uh, Bisu, but Flash on top of targeting that down. So here we see what Bisu can really get done. That was okay. actually, I, I liked that Zealot movement to get in front of the SCV to get the extra hit, but yeah. now he's maybe gonna take too much damage on the Zealot, yeah, can't really do much. Zealot with no shields against three Marines has to run. Yeah. Um, now the second Zealot's up here, and there's actually a third one coming as well. So three so, Zealots, we gotta see if there's gonna be an add-on, by the way, at the factory. Oh, really good body blocking. Yeah. Oh my God, really good targeting too. Dude. I was what? telling you, his SCV micro is just the best, and it makes a big difference. Yeah. Like, even that little bit of uh, body blocking, if you don't get that done, those two Zalts actually beat the four Marines. Uh, but great control there from Flash. It looks like he'll probably throw a bunker down immediately. And oh, there's a Vulture. Vulture being made. Yeah, absolutely. You want to sneak a Vulture out right away. Uh, most likely, he'll go directly into mines from here. Uh, because your Trigoon range is going to be so, so, so late with all these Zalts being made. Okay, so um, yeah, with, with the Dragoon out and, and not really any damage done, I mean, the, the Terran wasn't really slowed down here. Um, does the Zealot want to try to just run in the main and confirm what's happening? Is that the idea here? The Zealot? Oh, he turned no. around. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You you have to check if the command center's on the way just to make sure. This is, this is an it. opener for Protoss in general that just confuses me. I don't... Mm. have a good handle on it. I feel like the Protoss would be massively uncomfortable here. Well, you have you have played in a way that's kind of forced a bunker. You definitely don't know exactly what he's doing. Uh, any attacking builds are weaker because it's cross-map. Well, that's about it. Ooh, he's not going to get out. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. Half of a millisecond from shooting another shot there. Now this is the uh, mind game of where do you walk the vulture because this dragoon's trying to do the intercept. 
and Flash knows it's out there, this is actually a legitimate mind game that we're watching. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. The oh, blinds. he's so good. It's crazy. So crazy. Okay, he's coming back now. Uh, as the Terran, especially, you don't want to lose any units needlessly. It's, it's really easy to lose a Vulture, oh, yeah. especially against Dragoons. Six shots for Dragoon. Well, he did skip going for uh, the mines here or anything like that. Instead, uh, continuing so to attack a little bit. Just getting siege mode then, or just getting extra factories? No, yeah. You get siege mode as late as you possibly can in this matchup. It's one of the most important things. But just a very regular play. It looks like, I believe that this was uh, factor after the expansion, Academy Factory Armory, which has come into vogue a little bit recently. Um, and I can't really tell you why. It's a very complicated build. I've only seen really light doing it. But everything looks pretty clean for Flash, right? Like, he's he's got everything together. Bisu is putting together his tech, getting his Observer out now. Flash gets that scan off and sees exactly what's up. Now, I, I would be surprised if he doesn't go for a third base from here. Bisu. Flash. But oh, probably yeah. Well, I think Bisu they're both going to have to do it. Yeah. Uh, you can... Okay, he's going to go for a Reaver here. Mm -hmm. um, and that's to try to keep the Terran as honest as possible. Really forcing a lot of turrets out and just keeping them from... Um, not having to defend anything and macro up as quickly as possible is pretty scary. That's a pretty crazy scan. Yeah. Well, that's it's a nice one because a lot of Protosses do hide tech there, and also you'll see if they have a third up. Yeah, it really covers a lot of different bases, yeah. right? It, yeah. There's so much to scanning. Yeah, there is. You know, where to do it, when to do it. Um, and so very nicely handled here by, uh, by Flash to start things off. Now, uh, remember, they're in cross spots, which usually leads to the most intense macro games. Um, directionally, the Protoss can both expand towards the upper left and try to secure the lower right. Mm -hmm. It's it's not easy because uh, the Terran is a little bit more limited on options. Generally, the Terran always uh, snakes its way down towards the bottom, mm -hmm. uh, toward, towards 6 o'clock here, control stuff. Um, and... Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it can be tricky for the Terran though. Even though the Terran gets that fourth early on, this is a wide open area for the Protoss to really try to take and exploit. I'm wondering, yeah. do, you, do you get shuttle speed here? What, what is your take on this? I think that it is uh, mostly just up to the player. I think that against Flash in this situation, I would probably skip shuttle speed. You're yeah. not likely to really do damage him. I think shuttle speed you can outplay uh, players with it, but if you're playing against the one player that can't really be outplayed. Do you, what's the point? Do you know what I mean? Sure, yeah. One thing to keep, to note, too, is that uh, if you see shuttle play on this map, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's worth watching for. Um, a lot of players go for bust. They try to actually just crack the Terran open as they're taking the four bases, uh, as the Terran snakes towards uh, 6 o'clock. Yeah. I don't know that that's going to be the best way to play, but especially if we see shuttle speed, usually the game builds into uh, enough tension that the Protoss tries to come in here and, and, and dismember the Terran in that way. Okay, a little bit of a late transfer, actually, uh, over this expansion, and uh, very fortunately timed Vultures come in here to hit these probes that are going to come through here. Yeah, really well timed out there from Flash, and uh, he does get a few of them, loses the Vultures. That's all right, though. Uh, I think he's going to go fourth base here, like you were kind of mentioning before. One thing about going fourth base if you're sending Vultures out is a counterattack by the Protoss can kill you sometimes. Yeah, if you keep them a little bit busy, do a bit of harassment, then it's a lot harder for them uh, to really put together that army. And also, you see Flash just scan there. He saw the timing of the Citadel. That should make him completely confident. And look at how he's placing his turrets. He knows that the only thing he's weak to right now is speed shuttles flying over turrets into his main base. Right. That is literally the only thing that can damage him. This was... And here we like, go. He is perfectly reading this. And he oh sees the two shuttles. That Once you see that there are two... You play it completely differently. Look at right. this. He's pulling back a bit. He's adding more turrets. He's spreading out some mines to slow the Dragoons when they come in as well. This is like... It, the strategy from Bisu is absolutely not a, a bad thing to try, a bad thing to do. But Flash is just pairing it perfectly with his yep. amazingly well-timed scans. And from the Protoss' position, uh, if you don't engage the Terran correctly in, in any kind of bust play early on, you, you usually lose. You, you can't just attack, and if you don't trade favorably, then you're giving up any momentum you have. Mm -hmm. 
the thing is, he doesn't have to attack in his suicide all his units. Right, right. But if he does. Yeah, he's got his fourth started before Flash has his fourth started, so that's at least something. Uh, I don't think that there is any realistic possibility of Peace doing real damage here. Maybe, like, what if he cancels the fourth? That's a nice move. I don't think he can even do that, though. I think Flash is just sewn up tight. It's just, this yeah. map is very hard to break people on. And in some sense, it's almost like Flash would prefer that Bisu attacked in here, because I think that would go oh, yeah. very well for him. Yeah. But you can see, uh, you know, Bisu being very patient. Uh, he was hemming and hawing about engaging there, and it seems like he's going to back off. We may have a fifth base taken here as well. Yeah, no, he definitely should take the fifth. Once you realize that your opponent's taking the fourth here as Flash, you absolutely must take your fifth base. There's, like, what else are you doing? You want to be even bases with Flash? Oh, no, this is not oh a my good God. idea. Oh! Not a good idea. I, I think that was the one with the Reavers. I don't know. Yeah, could have been. Usually you lead with the one with the Zealots, so let's see. Yeah, that, okay, that is the Reaver one. Thank God. Uh, he does come in here and... Oh! Wow, hey! okay. Good shot there. Yeah, Gets the tank. That was good. targeting. Good. And the SCVs, a few at least. Okay, so I guess it died. I, I don't know. We unfortunately I don't know we, what's we going can't on. actually see that part of the, of the map. I there. don't see. I don't see green. That so. part of the screen is covered up by the map. So and I don't see scarabs coming out. So something killed. Uh, I don't. I don't see the teal color. So I think it. I think it died somehow. Okay. Well, uh, that definitely was not like good. <laughs> I don't know how else to put this. That was not a. That was not a great move. That's why Flash put the turrets up, because uh, players love to do moves like that. Okay, here comes the fifth base now, but it is a little bit late. Flash is going to max very quickly from here. He's going to get his 2-1 very quickly from here, and he is going to be deadly with that. Uh, at this point in time, Bisu, you know, he didn't quite trade enough to make that attack efficient, especially with Flash already having a fourth. Bisu still has a supply lead. He's macroing very well. Mm -hmm. um, but we know that Flash's plan is ultimately to have um, a very strong upgraded army, plus two attack, plus one armor is already done. And that means that plus three attack, plus two armor is coming here. Yeah, that's a really good point. So, I mean, that, is, ooh. Okay, that, that was a really cool drop, and yeah. it actually worked. It, it didn't quite work. Um, and now there's no way to break in. Wow. Basically, there's so many mines there that it's hard to actually uh, thrust through with the Zealots and break that mm -hmm. spot. But sometimes if you get one there, if any yeah. of the mines blow up, all the mines will blow up. Right, and then and then suddenly you, you have opened up a, a point mm -hmm. where you can start to access that and attack that. Now, it was a good attempt. As Flash is continuing to deflect pretty much every attack that Bisu has, uh, inevitably Flash is going to peak and max out here. Mm -hmm. And that's when we're going to have a counter push. Now, Bisu is expanding in probably the most conservative pattern you could ever imagine. He's also keeping yeah. everything tightly... Yeah. Um, uh, tight together here so that there's no easy way to separate and disjoint the army here of, of Bisu. So I'm not sure what the easiest point is for Flash to push. He'll probably push through either the upper left side and hit that mineral only yes. or try to chop the position in half by pushing towards the main, probably towards the third, but in that general direction. Now you, what you're, this is what you're completely right about. Like The mineral only that Bisu chose to take, this is him basically stating he can keep Flash on Flash's side of the map. But what Flash's plan is here, and you can see it by his fifth command center starting, he will push out slowly, take his fifth base at nine o'clock, and cut the map in half. And as soon as he cuts it in half, he kills all the bases at 12 o'clock and to the left. Those right. bases will become basically free. He can send a very few units and just knock them out. And look at this, he has a gigantic tank count now as well. Now, it's important that uh, Flash not just attacks, but tries to box Bisu's army back towards his own base, because Bisu is going to be very reliant on counterattacking. And uh, counterattacking is actually not as easy on this map. There's not as many convenient locations to try to run through. So he sees where the army is. Most oh. of it's going to spill. That's a bad. Uh, yeah, he's wasting like a thousand minerals of zealots right yeah. there. That one misclick, yeah, a thousand minerals gone. Like it never <laughs> even, like it never even happened. Um, he needs to try to control this army's position. He wants to take a fight, and what BC wants to do is force Flash to siege up and then run around and hit another location. And as that's happening, BC is making ideally more gates in the upper left, but also just expanding mm -hmm. and getting control of the map. And he's want, going to try to outlast Flash 
Yeah, but you see we're both getting huge banks. Look at the amount right. of factories that Flash has right now. He has like 10 going on 11 facts, I believe I just saw. So he's going to be able to remax so quickly. He's spreading so perfectly, coming out just quickly enough. He's going to float over, take that fifth base. Bisu sees this all happening, but what do you do against it? Yeah, Very it, it, tough. It, it's hard. And, and you look at the patience of Flash here. This is really why he's such a great Terran player. He's not he's not pushing it, right? Uh, you can see, Bisu wants to go around. There's not really anywhere to easily go around. We don't have a shot of 6 o'clock, but I can guarantee you it's walled off with depots, covered with some siege tanks, and turrets are there with mines. Mm -hmm. Very hard to break. Yeah. And as Flash is both pushing north, he's expanding and it's covered. Mm -hmm. This is such graceful uh, end game here yes, for Flash. Yes, he's he's playing a beautiful game, no doubt. Misses oh, miss the EMP. Yeah, big that, moment for BC. Yeah, he, uh, the the spells that come from the Arbiter are so important, and the mm -hmm. fact that he didn't quite get that uh, the EMPs that he needed uh, is is very huge. In a situation like this, if you hit EMP on their only Arbiter, you feel like you've won the game. Right. Uh, he does get a stasis. Okay, he should only kill the front four tanks and run. He needs to turn around right now. He needs to turn around. He has to turn around. Yeah, that's a... He waited way too... Like, if he had yeah. turned around exactly when I said there, he has, like, eight more goons right now. But you see, he stays, like, even a second too long, and the tanks will eat your line. The, and that was all based off the stasis. Like, the stasis wasn't the, a fantastic stasis, but it did make four of those tanks easy to pick off. So... Uh, the push continues on now, and I don't know that there's any real way for BC to recover. That, that, that attack that we saw back there is basically, in this type of a PvP, the most important part of the game is how does the Protoss handle this? Arctosis uh, was basically 100% right. When you see that attack, you do the damage, and then you run back out, and, and, and you re-macro out of the gates. Yeah. Uh, Bisu didn't quite execute it perfectly. Now, he's maxed out again, but already uh, Flash is hammering the 3 o'clock base here. These probes are isolated, probably going to get killed. And Flash, is, uh, as he's remaxed out here, it seems like he has an answer for any type of counterattack. Yeah, yeah, and he's got a gigantic bank. This is very scary. Bisu has to run around a lot right now. The one thing he's doing really well is adding gates in top left and adding things in bottom right. So he needs to be expanding kind of everywhere at once right now. It's very important. Okay, so... Uh, we see uh, you know, at least saving the position, although he didn't have time to save the Nexus, but I I'm worried the virus of Flash is already spreading too quickly on the map here. You can see now uh, it's going to be lights out here in the upper left quadrant as all these bases are eliminated. Maybe, maybe uh, there's a chance that Bisu can hang on to the main, um, but that might be a fool's errand here. I don't know um, that even if he keeps the main alive and prevents Flash from pushing up, that this is going to be uh, preventative enough for, for just Flash and his momentum in taking this game. Flash is just doing so much work right now, killing those two Nexuses basically instantaneously. Oh, Again. We're going to have a recall here on this army. Really nice. Oh, yeah, that's a nice recall right there. Very much like that. A lot of Zealots in it for this very tank-heavy reinforcement as well. Yeah. Um, I think, oh. Yeah, that's that's really big. Oh. That, 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 that team matrix was so good. That was so good. Uh, he's gonna try to clean this up, and there is actually another attack coming here. I gotta say, Bisu really never fails to impress me. Dude, yeah. Um, that was a really brilliant move there. And you don't want to recall and try to take out that location. Recall on the army and try to fight it that way. More zealots come down. Don't forget, there's tons of gateways in that main to hit this. Mm -hmm. The problem though is the lack of Nexi on the map. Yeah. Uh, even though. Uh, Bisu is reinforcing and attacking pretty heavily. He has about 400 minerals, where Flash has, uh, he, he had 6,000 a little while ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, he does get a stasis off, but... The fact that Flash is even setting up mines right now for reinforcements... It's pretty crazy. He, he's just, he's so good. He just does more than anybody. It's wild what he can do. Uh, but, of course, right now it's hard for Flash to really expand to anywhere. Bisu does have that bottom right. That's... That's going to be his chance, right? If he just continually holds this top left, he's retaking 12. He has the bottom right. If he can, like, clear this army up and slow flash down a little bit, maybe there's a chance. I hope so. I don't want this to end just yet, but this this is going to be a real Hail Mary, Hail, <laughs> Hail Mary play here um, from, from Bisu if he can pull this off. He's curbing the progress. I worry, though, because Flash has so much gas and so many more tanks he can remake. Basu yeah. is taking that bottom right, though, like you were saying, Artosis. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what he gets done with it. It's just 
if he had like one more base this whole time, when Flash killed three bases at once, and then was like killing big chunks of army too. It just, it makes it so you can't remax. If Bisu had two more bases mining, this would actually be a pretty close game right now. Bisu would be able to maintain a max at all times, have a really scary army running around. But right now, Flash is able to split off his army, right? Yeah. He's slowing this attack down a lot. Even if Flash loses that base, he can retake it. So he's coming down now. And he, he might be able to push his army back. Oh, actually, maybe not. You know, the Vultures, they reinforce so quick. They're such fast units. Yeah. Sometimes the Vultures just reinforce oh. quick enough. Oh, my God. Is this the uh, nail in the coffin here? It might be, You yeah. know, there's, I think there's two gateways uh, just north of the screenshot, but I don't know that that's enough. And GG, Flash, once again, if you were ever a doubter, <laughs> let this remind you why he is the greatest pro gamer of all time.